Hello YouTube. Good morning. Today we're going to be driving through New York and into Vermont. Yep, we'll be crossing the state line after uh, we drive through Albany. So I'm excited to see Vermont. I, we want to stop and get some maple syrup and some maple candy for sure. And there's a place called Hogback Mountain and there's supposed to be a hundred mile view there over the mountaintops and a country store where we can pick up some of those maple goodies. That's going to be cool. We'll be staying at um, Brattleboro North KOA Journey in Dummerston, that's Vermont. Right. And that's very close to the New Hampshire border, right on the state line there. So we expect to see some beautiful countryside driving through Vermont today. And New York today. And New York. So we're going to have a lot of uh, roadside uh, driving. We'll be driving for probably two and a half, three, three and a half hours, something like that. If we have anything to share with you, we'll be sure to do so. So let's go for a ride. Okay, we should be coming up to the state line here at any moment now. And here it is. Welcome to Vermont, the Green Mountain State. Woo! -hoo, I thank you. We've seen a lot of Green Mountains. Yeah, so we can add another state to the yep. map. Here we, are. we are in Vermont, baby. left and right, it's and curvy and it's beautiful. Okay, so there's got a warning sign that there's moose crossing for the next eight miles. So we gotta be careful for not to hit a moose. Be on the lookout. For Bullwinkle. like Vermont. So there's a little country store up here with South Bad called Hogsback Mountain Country Store. Yeah. Hog, um, we're on Hogsback Mountain now. And this country store should have lots of uh, maple, maple maple gifts. And um, this is also the place where we can see the 100 mile view. Oh, very cool. So I know that we've been going up in the mountains this whole drive, so now we should be able to just look out and see them all. So it should be right around this bend. Very cool. You like maple a lot, right? I, I think do. it's one of the best flavors ever. Maple. 
more than a buffalo wing sauce? <laughs> well, that was an invented flavor, you know, but this is just pure out of tree maple, you know. Natural. Yeah, natural flavor. Check out that view. Beautiful, isn't and that, it? This, this is the 100 mile view. view. It's 100 miles away, they say. Seems like the perfect place to add a Blue Wave Odyssey sticker. Now we're on the sticker guard rail on Hogback Mountain. And there's the Hogback Mountain Country Store. Okay, so behind me here is Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. You can actually see 100 miles. It's a view of 100 miles out. Very beautiful. Yeah, far as the eye can see, green mountains. Okay, grade A, very dark. Oh, yeah. What about the pancakes? <laughs> yeah, they let you sample all the maple syrup here, which is awesome. Bob's going to get a sugar high. It seems like it's got a little booze in it. Is that the bourbon one? Maybe. It's malt aged. But, uh, okay. I think the shop is. Got a little booze in it, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. It tastes good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, when we get in the trailer, I want you to show me what all we got. I left some maple syrup for others. Well, that's nice. Okay, so Vermont has the maple syrup, but they're also famous for apple cider donuts. So we got some of those in the store. And Bob, you got your Green Mountain coffee too. I do. I got my and Green Mountain coffee. And you've always loved Green Mountain. I guess I didn't realize it was from Vermont. Right, I didn't never realize it either. I thought it was just a brand name and actually from here in Vermont. And they saw them in the uh, mobile stations down in Florida, so. Mmm. Mmm. Good donuts. Oh, good. So this is just a sampling of what we got. I got all kinds of absolutely pure maple syrup. Got it in the tins, you know, no glass while we're traveling. This is something called maple cream. It's supposed to be really good on pancakes or toast. Hard maple candy. And of course, the pure maple sugar leaves. So I got a ton of that, but the best thing we tasted in the whole store was no this. No doubt. Maple syrup malt aged it tastes like bourbon it tastes like liquor and maple together it does it has a maple and bourbon taste even though it's malt i know wow that's gonna be delicious on pink it is
All right, so we stop here for uh, to pick up some ice. And there are these uh, bikers here, a bunch of bikers. And they had just bought a bag of ice and put some in their drinks and didn't know what to do with the rest of the bag. And they heard us talking about ice, so they gave us a bag. So that's pretty cool. So now we only have to go in and get one bag of ice. Very cool. Shoes like on. <laughs> <laughs> nice spot. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, we're right by the pool, aren't we? We're right by the pool, baby. And we're not unhitching. But I'm making pancakes in the morning. Got to. Can you tell where we are? Well, we got us some of this awesome um, Vermont maple syrup single malt aged and let me tell you what this stuff tastes like it's got some bourbon in it and um it's actually from what they said beer barrels or whiskey it's barrel? been aged in old whiskey barrels so it picks up that whiskey flavor who knew whiskey and maple go so well together oh my gosh it tastes so good right out of the bottle now I'm actually going to try it with my breakfast. I can smell it. Yeah. It's got that. It's got some maple whiskey smell to it. This is going to be good. Let's try this syrup out on the pancake. This is definitely the best syrup I've ever had. Definitely the best syrup I've ever had. This is delicious. <laughs> 